you here from Sue's Dog Rob Knife Garden today. Um, I just want to show you my potato progress. I think, oh, what's the date today? Oh, I don't remember. Um, I'm going to have to find out the one. It's Sue here from Sue's Dog Rob Knife Garden today. Um, and it is the 23rd of September or the 22nd. Not sure which day it is today. Anyway, feeling a bit tired today. I'm looking a bit sleepy. Look. <laughs> anyway, so I've just come out into the polytunnel just to check on everything, and I was just checking the carrots, and I think that I might actually have a carrot or two that is growing. Um, yeah, I just checked to see if they were growing and they seem to be. Sorry, I keep looking at the wrong part of the phone. It really is distracting when you can see yourself. And I keep looking at the picture and not the not the cam not the lens. It's really off-putting. I have to use my camera soon because um, this really distracts me. Anyway, so I'm in the polytunnel. I thought I'd just um, give you a quick tour around the polytunnel. And I'll show you what we've done outside in the beds, uh, where, we, where I've put out all my swede and beetroot. So I put out the swede and the beetroot, how the seedlings are getting on. I must say those radishes that I sowed are really long, tall, spindly things. Um, and they haven't even got the true leaves on yet. They've just got the... Uh, you know like the two leaves and they're really really long I'm not sure if that's right if they're supposed to be like that but yeah anyway so everything in the polytunnel seems to be doing well and I tried an experiment outside another one <laughs> to try and deter the slugs and snails off my beds um, where my brassicas are so I don't know if it's worked um, but <clears throat> I thought I'd try it I'll try anything to try and protect my my um, products that I'm putting out in the garden. All, all my poor baby plants that I brought on in here and then I put them outside and then they just get slaughtered. You know, the brassica massacre, I call it, because <laughs> they just get massacred by slugs. So anyway, we went out the other night and um, had a look and there was lots of slugs going inside the beer things but then I failed to remove the slugs I thought oh they'll probably fall in and drown but they didn't they actually just went and had a drink at the slug pub and then um, left but they didn't seem to eat the um, they didn't seem to eat the brassicas on that day so that was quite good so obviously I just nipped down the pub for a drink I'm thinking went down to the old pub you know they like a stout or two, I've noticed. Yeah, they're drinking a lot of the stout. So that seems to be working. But what we're going to do tonight is come out again and make sure that we actually um, remove the slugs this time because they just went down the pub for a drink, but then they didn't fall in the beer. They just drank some and then left. So, hmm. Anyway, I'm going to show you the tomatoes. I've been getting tomatoes every single day. So every time a tomato ripens in the polytunnel, I just pick them and I take them all indoors. Um, so we've been having all our own tomatoes recently, loads and loads of cherry tomatoes um, and some of the chocolate tomatoes. There's still tomatoes growing. I just can't believe this. I've still got flowers on the tomatoes. I just noticed on these ones over here, that they've got flowers on they've got loads of flowers just come on so well we're just gonna have to leave them until well you know until nature kills them off because um the weather's getting colder and colder at night yeah it's really quite chilly today i'm sitting here with my coat on i've been starting to clear the garden because um i noticed um yeah i cleared oh i done oh it's a big thing over there hell is that? That's big. Oh, I don't know what that is. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, I'm looking for some flowers really big, like, like a massive bee, but 
doesn't look like a bee. Must look a big wasp. Ooh, don't like that. Ooh, we might have to move in a minute. <laughs> That bug is just sitting there. And it looks like a big wasp. Yeah, it's just sitting there. Hmm. Anyway, so I hope you're all right. Let me know how your garden or polytunnel is getting on. This is my first year in my polytunnel, by the way. I will do some, um, like a, what do you call it? I can't remember the word. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. But you know, like, um, where you put all the videos together I will try but I don't know if I'll be able to do it I've got all my videos stored on my um, hard drive so because I take them off of um, I put them on YouTube well I create them on Movie Maker at the moment and then um, and then I put them on a file then I move put one onto YouTube and then the original one I put on my hard drive so it doesn't take up all my memory on my laptop. So unless I can do a collage of new stuff from each video on YouTube, on their software, I don't know. Anyway, you don't need to know all that rubbish. Mm. Anyway, let's do a tour around the polytunnel today. Still have loads of cucumbers. They're all different shapes and sizes, but and they're all maturing. It's still hard to believe that the cucumbers grow up these strings. It's just amazing. Anyway, I'll stop talking now because I'm using up all my time. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you again in a minute and I'll give you a quick tour of the polytunnel and what I've been up to outside. Okay, bye. Right, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the polytunnel. So in my last video that i done, i done... All of this bit you may have seen that video if not you can go and see it I'll put a link on there to the next video um, at the end of this video uh, so these seem to be doing really well now these brassicas look so they were a bit nibbled before I put them in I have I didn't I forgot to put the beer trap in but they seem to be not too bad and the rhubarb started growing already really quick snuff grow quick uh, these are all right. I don't think these heads are going to get any bigger. I don't think they are. I did make coleslaw out of the ones that I pulled out, actually. So that um, I got quite a, like a, a whole bowl full of coleslaw out of all the heads. Anyway, so we've still got some tomatoes coming on here. Oh, I thought I picked them all. There's one there. Hold on, I need to get that off. So what I've been doing is going around... Picking off all the tomatoes, there's still little weeny ones on there, look. Um, yeah, but this one's still got flowers. And this one here, these ones here at the front. So there's two tomato plants in this pot. And they've still got, they've just I noticed, I noticed loads and loads of flowers just come on these. So hopefully they won't take too long to turn into fruit so that we don't lose them. So anyway, that's that bit. Over here is where I'm... Um, so these are my pansies. These are called Swiss Giant White Lady. Um, so I've sowed those and I need to sow the other seeds. But I only got 20 each of each seed and I don't really want to lose them because they were quite expensive but they're quite an unusual one. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, here are the winter greens that I've sowed on top of the table. And also some Savoy cabbage in there has come up now. But look at these. So these are the winter radish munch, munchkin or whatever they're called. But look how dangly they are. Oh, I don't know. But I sowed some direct and they look the same. Oh, outside I, these are, um, I, I dug these up when I was doing the bed outside and they were just growing in there. They're actually um, foxgloves, I noticed. Oh, so it's nibbling and um, annoying. So here are my parsnips. They're really, really big now. I'm going to have to put them in. What I was going to do is put them in one of the bags. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I might have one where a melon has died. So I think I might transfer these all into a bag because I know that there's no stones in these bags of uh, 
compost so I might just put them in there and see how to leave them for the winter see how they get on see if I've got any parsnips for Christmas oh I noticed I've got more tomatoes hold on let's start this then I'm getting too excited so look at my cucumber plant plants so we still got this size cucumber on here which is really heavy I think there was two on this plant hold on yeah there's another one down here which is done these are done actually there's another one here on this plant so we've still got a cucumber here uh, so that's that one uh, is there any on this one these tomato plants are still releasing and I keep cutting back all these um, sweet peas I'm still getting sweet pea flowers look because I keep, I, still, I keep clearing them up. So I keep clearing through all here and taking out all the dead leaves. So every time I see dead leaves growing, growing, I mean, I just take them off. Now we've still got tomato here. And there's still tomato flowers on this one and here. So as long as they keep just growing, I will leave them. Have we got any melons up? melons have we got any cucumbers on this one yeah there's a cucumber here on this one so we've still got cucumbers uh, i think there's a big cucumber on this one big 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 one they're only short cucumbers but they're really dense so it's amazing these plants aren't they the way they hold up you know look at the root system at the bottom this is the actual base of the cucumber it's amazing there's some more tomatoes there and I just keep taking off the red ones Ooh. oh I just took off some here hold on I'll show you in a minute um, yeah I'm amazed by these there's more cucumbers here there's another cucumber here and another cucumber here so they're still producing cucumbers so I will just leave them that's huge that cucumber <laughs> uh, my mint and everything down here so I keep clearing it up so every time things get all manky I just pull it all out I notice that sweet peas down there now and on the table here are all the tomatoes that I collected this morning so every day I get a handful of tomatoes like this and then we just have them in our salad. I've still got some rosemary here I need to put in somewhere. I've got um, an odd strawberry plant that I took as a runner. I've still got these two tomato plants on table. They don't seem to be doing too well. That one's got some tomatoes on, well, flowers, I don't know. Anyway, so here's some more. This plant here is really getting big now. This is called the... Oh, for God's sake, I can never remember what it's called. Oh, with the big blue flowers. Oh, look at it. I better train it around this bit. Wow. I think the flowers are coming. It's huge. I forgot what it's called. Oh, blue something. Oh, it comes to me. And here, my little experiment with straightening up my tomato worked because look, this is the end of it, looking really healthy. So that did work. We still got stuff going on here. Right, did we have a melon over here? We still got the aubergines at the back. I still can't see any aubergines, just flowers. Just lots of flowers. I still don't think they're producing any aubergines. Um, I don't know if there's any, oh, did I have any melons on this plant, or did that just die? I don't, I can't see any melons on that plant. I did have one of the plants with melons on. This one, oh, this one's got some tiny ones on. I don't know if they're going to come to anything. Uh... I can't find them. I think that one there has got some tiny melons on. That one there. 
I think there might be a couple. I don't know. There's two beans. Look at them. They're looking great. So what I think I might do is pick these now. Uh, before they get too big and then go not oh look at them yeah i think i'll pick them now have them this size but the plants themselves look really amazing and there's so many beans how many plants did i plant i planted one two three four five six plants but look they're only dwarf they only grow this height they don't get very big that one seems to be growing a bit taller but they're really not that tall a plant and grew very quick uh, I think this tomato plant's nearly done now yeah it's going quite yellow but I still take out the, the leaves let it have another oh that's not even attached to anything that's why that's gone yellow look it's not attached but I will just um, keep taking out the dead stuff until they completely die off oh that one's got loads of flowers on it yeah here are my bell peppers so I'm not sure I don't think they're going to get any bigger because every day I've looked at them they don't seem to be getting any bigger I don't think this one's got any oh it's got a tiny one on it down there it seems to be Oh, it's got a hole in it, that one. I'll we'll leave that one as a sacrificial one so they don't attack any of the others. Uh, we've got some more through here. Oh, it's really hard to find things when you're looking for them in the undergrowth. There's some, there's some here. Yeah, I'm not sure about those, what's going to happen. Anyway, these tomatoes have still got flowers on. They've got tomatoes on down here there's tomatoes through here through here ah so these tomatoes seem to put the the fruit down lower mm -hmm. interesting uh, i'm just learning here so i trimmed all these back uh, yeah i can't really see any there another thistleus here growing in amongst the tomatoes here's some tomatoes here and thistleus and um, more tomatoes, yeah, everywhere. Anyway, over here, here we have some more peppers. Um, these are like chili type peppers. Uh, not really that many on here. One here, there's a couple here and there, but really not that many. There's some there, I don't know if you can see them. Can't see any on this one. Hmm. And the aubergines at the back, no aubergines. But the plants look really healthy. Look at the size of this aubergine plant. Huge! But still no aubergines. I don't know, it's really weird. Oh look, we've got two melons on this melon. It looks like the leaves are dying. I don't know if those melons are going to get any bigger. I think that melon plants, well, it's still putting out flowers, but I don't know if it's going to grow. I moved a lot of the stuff off the table. I've still got a few red cabbage there. I might pot, pot them, plop them in um, once one of these beds become free in here. I might put the uh, red cabbage inside the polytunnel, but not under a table. Here are the beetroot, they're looking really healthy. This one looks like it's bolting now. Oh. That one looks like it's bolting. Oh, I think it's, you know why, it's because I've taken off all the outside leaves to eat. No wonder it's bolting, it's really stressed because it said you took off all my leaves. <clears throat> anyway, so, and not to worry, I've got loads more beetroot growing outside. Here are the seeds that are so direct. I swear I'd put them in better rows than this. And here are those winter radish. I don't know, they grow really weird. Long and spindly. And some of them have fallen over, oh, I don't know. 
I'll just throw the seeds in, hopefully. See what happens. Anyway, some more aubergines with no fruit on. So we've got loads and loads of aubergines with nothing. Just leaves. Loads and loads of leaves. That's the bag I'm going to use for the um, the parsnips. They're going to go in there. I'll fill it up more with compost, but I'm going to actually just put the parsnips in that bag. And then our celery is growing really well here. And over this side, we've got another aubergine. More thistles growing. Um, oh, they've got tons of fruit on. And over here, there's loads of these plants. Are all my strawberries, which are growing really, really well. I've given them plenty. Oh, look, we've actually got strawberry flowers. We're going to get some strawberries. It's September. But these are all, like, growing really well. Look at them. Wow. We're going to get loads of tomatoes. No. We're going to get loads of new strawberry plants from these. Look at this runner here. <laughs> amazing I've pinned it down with a little bit of stone but look at that I'm getting loads so I'm gonna move all those outside but not yet because they're really thriving right now look at them all oh I had to get out of polyton I was getting really hot anyway let's just give you a quick look at this part of the garden so this is the corner where I've put my comfrey and I put some foxgloves so these are all wild foxgloves by the way I will buy some foxgloves this year to put out for next year because um, we've just got the wild foxgloves which I'm just picking up the small baby plants and putting them around the garden uh, here is my Christmas tree it's doing well so buy yourself a packet of this nicotinia seeds and if you love flowers that just keep going and are no hassle whatsoever and they, they just thrive once they get going they get a bit knocked back to begin with and then once they keep once they go they go they're amazing i absolutely love them osteospernum cuttings that i took from a cutting from the main osteospernum plant which is out in the front garden somewhere Anyway, that's that. Let's just quickly give you a tour of the beds. So in here, we've got the beet, uh, beetroot, Brussels sprouts, still nibbling. Ugh. It's all getting nibbled, look. Uh, uh. There's no snails in, slugs in there, so I must come out tonight and try and get some. But this red cabbage here has still not been eaten, touch wood. And there's a red cabbage there. There's loads of slugs in there. Red cabbage there. Mm, over here, I think some of these are broccoli. I'm not sure. I think these are purple sprout and broccoli or broccoli of some sort. Uh, here, they might just be normal broccoli. But they're, they're not too bad. Uh, got more slugs in there. These ones are a bit massacred. Um, Oh dear. And then these ones I recently... Oh no, these are the ones that I put in ages ago. And they're not doing too bad. Are they? Look. And there's a beer trap there. And this is beer trap is the big one where I saw the slug come in and helping itself to a, a beer at the pub. The pub. The slug pub. And then this is where I started putting some mulch down. Um, these are the original ones that were in here and then I put in these tiny ones the other day that I had left laying around in the um, polytunnel. This one at the front here is doing alright. Uh, yeah, so there you go. And at the end here I put in some more plants and I also put the wool round. So this wool is from my actual own sheep when we had him sheared. Uh, that was already like that. I'm just trying to protect them. Um, some of these ones I put in, and we're still using the beer slugs, but the beer traps. Look at that. Ugh. So I will go around and put some more beer in tonight. And uh, these uh, rosemary seem to not mind it. Uh, yeah. So I put in. 
I put in some of my own wool and the bedding from the animals to try and protect these. Anyway, oh. over here, so there's our little pond. I'm going to have a bigger pond next year. I want to have a big pond. I got some shells off the beach the other day when we went to Barmer. That was a nice day out. Uh, there is a newt, two newts in here. I'm trying not to let the leaves in. I keep picking them out. I'm going to get a bigger pond next year. I can't see anything. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, I can't see anything. It's really hard to see anything. Anyway, because I love all these irises and stuff. I want to show you these flowers. Yeah, I had some of these here. I've also got some over here that have come out. Look, look at this. Aren't they pretty? I don't know what they're called. Oh, whoa, 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 go away. Oh, it's a wasp thinks I'm a flower because I was touching the flower. Go away. So anyway, look at that. Can you see it? Oh, look there. It's really pretty. I can't remember what they're called, but they're quite late. They come out quite late. Huh? It looks like it might be flowering. Look. Oh my god. Sorry, my hands are really dirty. <laughs> wow. Oh wow, I've been waiting for that to flower for so long. And my chocolate mint here is looking good. And this bed still needs sorting out. I've got to go through this. This will take me a while because the strawberries are going in here. Uh, and here is my bed Ta -da! that I've recently just done. And in here, oh, there's loads of flies in here, look. Millions of them. Ugh. In here, oh my, I've mulched it everything with the bedding. I had, I think it was a pheasant trying to get in here. But in here are all my, I think that's three cauliflowers, I think. And then in here is all beetroot, all of this end's beetroot, and then all of this end are the swede. And touch wood, nothing's got in here, and it nothing. So I planted this all out the other day in this newly bed that I done, really beautiful soil in here. So my next mission is to do that bed the same and then that big bed over there has to be done and what i'm going to do in the autumn once these plants die back not yet next month when they die back i will move these two honey berries and i'm going to put the two honey berries together in this section so that's what i'm going to do but I'll wait until they've all gone back to sleep before I move them. So I'm just going to show you the garden. See, this is all gone a bit mad. Oh, look at them. They're huge. Anyway, so I cleared yesterday this end of this bit. So here's the beautiful rhododendron that I hacked back this early part of this year at the beginning of this year in January I think I did um, and I took out a whole of it and look at it look at it growing back so do not worry about hacking back your rhododendron <laughs> if you've got rhododendrons in your garden they just grow back you've got to keep them under control but it might not flower um, well it grew back this year but it might not flower I don't know if it'll flower next year or the year after. I'm keeping an eye on these straggly bits that like to grow. Look, it grows everywhere. Anyway, so don't worry about hacking it back, as well as these as well. So these are those ones with these red flowers. I can never remember orange flowers. I can never remember what these are called, but we have these everywhere. Them ones are still flowering over there. But I had to be ruthless because they were all growing. We well, can see where they're growing at the front here. And you couldn't see the wood. So I've now 
pulled them all out here and I'm going to go over this with a with a um a spade just to make sure there's no more in there and then I'm going to put some plastic down and then and then put the soil back and then hopefully that will stop them or anything from growing too far over because if you look here this is how far away from the wood everything starts growing which then makes the road bit here see the road bit here a bit narrow so this is not supposed to be this far over so this is all coming out all of this have come out all of these are coming out all of these at the front see where the wood is back there that's how far back they're supposed to be but see they grow out here so they're all coming out I have to be ruthless because I don't need them all I've got millions they just breed and breed and breed they just don't stop all of these at the front all of these I'll tidy up this hedge all the way to the top I need to clear all of that and then that side when they die back I will pull some of them out as well because otherwise the other plants because they they grow and grow and grow all year and take up all the room so if you want anything else in your garden so they've got loads they have to um they get swamped out by them so you have to keep them under control and they're, they're all the way up here look oh. oh all the way back here look this is the wood and this is them so i don't want them here I might keep some here, like one row, just in front of the pond. I don't know, I might just take them right back. Here's the pond. Here's my Buddha sleeping. This one needs sorting out. What I thought I might do today is start on this side. Because uh, look, there's more buddlias. Can't see them. I've got one of these. Oh, I'll show you what I did pull out. So you can, so roughly keep this picture in your mind. This is what it looked like. And now this is what it looks like. I haven't finished with these yet. I haven't finished this bit. I didn't finish doing the front bit here. So look, this is what it looked like. All a bit overgrown. And that's what it looks like afterwards once i cleared it so i tidied up all of that bit and there's plants in there you can't even see them so i'll take you around the other side and i cleared so we've got a new lawnmower coming yeah so we bought a new lawn well not a new one a second hand one but it's a practically brand new for cutting all of this yes Anyway, so I cleared this front edge yesterday, so you can see this path bit again. And there's a wall here, and I cleared all this. Look, see, there are loads and loads of foxgloves in there that have seeded themselves. I haven't finished clearing that bit yet, but I've done all this yesterday. Cleared all of it, tidied it all up. All this path here that goes all the way up there to there. Uh, there's some wild strawberries um, some few wild plants and that's a euphorbia I think and then that's my oh, berries barbaris or something like that I planted that there but now it's got a chance to breathe it was covered and my lovely my lovely um, beautiful buddleia there which can now breathe. Oh look, oh, they're a bit swamped now. But here are some of the um, tobacco flowers that I planted here. Look, oh, they're getting all, look at the brambles that have grown. Oh, I cleared all this. Oh, there's a big bee. There's not many flowers left for the bees now. The Rose of Sharon have gone over. Um, there's still these, but they don't seem to like these very much. I think they're like a cosmos. Oh, look at my sage up there. I just noticed how big it's got. Wow. So I'm going to work all the way along here. Oh. 
Oh God, what's that big lump? Oh God, it's all very hazardous around here. These are so pretty. There are millions of them. Look at them all. Oh, there's some more of my tobacco flowers up there. But look at these. These are such a joy at this time of year. Oh, there's some more tobacco flowers here. Yeah, we need to tie this all up. It's getting a bit overgrown. It doesn't take long to do. It looks awful. But apart from all the flowers. And they're a geranium then. These things. They're a geranium. So... I noticed here on this side of the garden, different stages of the year, we have different flowers growing. So there always is a succession of flowers growing here. I think this is the last lot of flowers though, after this lot of cosmos or whatever they are. That's the last lot of flowers. just beyond it a little bit and I've taken it right back to where the wood is the only bit I took a lot out of here as well I've left them by the pond for now because they've still got flowers on it um, yeah I can hear it if you 
can see it. it's very cloudy now. Where are you? I got the helicopter, I filmed it. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't see that. All right, wonder why. Apparently it had a Union Jack on it. With a lion underneath it. I know, you're very interested in my pile of rubbish. I know. Do what? The helicopter was to come around, can't say the word, commemorate 40 years of the RAF. Apparently, that's what that helicopter was about that we just saw. That's why it had a flag on it. There you go, you learn something new every day. Anyway, there we are. So, yeah, I do love that buddlier. Anyway, I need to carry on. I've stopped. Anu, this is really dry. So we're going to do that first. So I'm going to get the swimmer out because we're now standing in our field. So this is our field. Uh, yeah, it's a really big field. And we've got a path going down there, down towards the river. I will take you for a walk around this um, at a later date. But I can't wait until we can get this bit of the garden sorted out. And on this side of the garden is where... Um, I've got my uh, allotment type thing going on here and I'm going to plant some trees in there as well because um, I've got an apple tree over there but I want to plant some more trees in this bit and make it more like a garden it's just a bit of grass really uh, so yeah it's a work in progress look at the size of these trees in our garden oh, I can hear a voice oh that's weird anyway just wanted to show that and I'll just turn the camera around and say goodbye. Oh, my hair's all messed up now. So I've just been doing all that work. There's a couple of pheasants flying over. I just been, oh, a pheasant just then scared the living daylights out of me. It was in the undergrowth. Oh my God, we both jumped out of our skin. I, I made it jump and it made me jump. Anyway, I've finished work today. I'm just going to shut the gate here and uh, it's going to be dark in a minute I need to go and get the animal food put the chickens away yeah this grass here is so long right, that's that gate shut let's not trip over this mat, this quilt cover so what I do is just put all the stuff on the quilt cover tie it up corner to corner and drag it I find it easier than using a wheelbarrow because a wheelbarrow is alright if you've only got a little bit when you've got tons oh, you know, wheelbarrow does not hack it anyway I'm just going to go back up to the house now well I've got to go back into the put the stuff away in the shed in the garage anyway I hope you enjoy this video and if I can give you any kind of knowledge I hope it helps you so just uh, like and subscribe to my channel please and tell other people about my channel and uh, I'll see you again soon in the next video so bye bye for now bye